here we go. Heading out with Dave on the boat today. Pretty excited. Got up about an hour late, but that's all right. Still think there's plenty of fishing to do. All right, we just got gas and we're getting ice and then we're out. I'm excited. I'm gonna do some fishing. This ramp's really nice in terms of how tropical it is. It's real picturesque. Okay, we'll see you when we get there. I need my other hand so I can drive. Oops. Yeah, we got those waves over there with surfers and kayakers here. We are going fishing no matter what. We'll be good. Once you get past this, you'll be like, oh, it's really nice out. with my good friend Peter. What's up? Peter came all the way from Spokane, Washington to go on this trip. That's right. Good to have Peter here. All right, so we're gonna try our hand at some bottom fishing. We're in, uh, 577 feet, which is deep enough to catch some snappers. And uh, so we're gonna try it out, see if we can't get on some, uh, some of the deep seven today. I've already pre-made these, so we're gonna go ahead and clip this guy into position, lock him in. This is just a piece of uh, old spear gun rubber let's say you're manual cranking and you're not paying attention you don't want to do damage to your rod or to your tip so i like these because they're they're cheaper but these are uh just like uh you slide them on and then you crimp them down little three ways and then i attach these clips and i've made these leaders which are basically just uh about six feet one fathom of monofilament attached to circle hook and a swivel and then uh, I just clip these guys on and it's important that when you if you're doing multiple hooks that the length of your leader if you took if you have two of these well, two or more you don't want them to be long enough to where they can tangle each other so you want enough space between your three ways so that when those baits are floating in the water, they're not gonna wrap around each other. Because if they're wrapped around each other, the fish are gonna have a hard time getting hooked on them because they're gonna be all tangled up. You know, it said, catch your fish the night before you go fishing when you get everything ready. I think that's kind of true. <laughs> the last thing you wanna do is set all this up on the boat. I've got this uh, little chum bag, we call it a poly bag. And uh, we'll clip that on there as well as I've got this deep drop light that when it gets wet, it'll flash. And so I attach that with a zip tie as well. Love zip ties, close it, send it down. When it's on the bottom, you yank up, this thing opens, the bait falls out, and hopefully you're chumming up the fish and then they see your hook, it's on. All right, so Peter's gonna drop down. Okay, and then now grab your hook, which will, yep, and just kind of lightly toss that in. There you go, okay. And then when you get to the next three-way, you're gonna put your other hook in. Good. Okay, and then go ahead and feed the rest of it till you get to your bag. Okay, and then you wanna take that bag and just point it and then just let go. And away it goes, man. 
this thing's gonna automatically turn on so we don't get back splat or backlash. All right, I think we got a bite here. How long have we been in the water? Maybe two minutes on this drop. Well, okay. all right, so let's, there it goes. You can see it bouncing. Yeah, go ahead and uh, engage it. Flip it up here. Yeah, just flip, uh, no, flip this, yeah, that one right there. All the way up. Oh yeah, there's something of good size on there, man. Yeah. Yeah, I got the juice, yeah, I got the juice. We game cool, make them look like cool. Always play cool, that's the biggest rule. But then what they doing, keep on doing. There you go, Peter. Right on, man. Oh, check out this guy over here. He's a pro now. Gotta go, man. See what we catch. All right, we just dropped like what 30 seconds ago. Yeah. Sometimes these fish bite and then they get lazy. There it goes. Yeah. There it goes. Yeah, you got. Yeah, he's got. He's still pulling. It's gonna slow down now. Dive. Pretty good size one. That's a little bit bigger fish, bro. Oh, yeah, I can feel it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what you think of that, man? It's awesome. Yeah, that's yeah, a that's pulling. That's pulling. That's a bigger fish. It's pulling out mine. <laughs> that's awesome. We're still 146 meters down, so we got a little bit of time here. Wow. All right, we'll see you when it gets closer to the surface. See what you got, man. How's that feel though to handline a fish like that, man? Cool. All right, you're gonna want this line on this side so you can. Uh, well, I'll hold this so you don't get tangled up. There he is, man. Oh, beautiful. How is that? That's awesome. Is that cool or what? All right, I'm gonna back up so you can pop them over, man. Pop them to your left, though. There you go, man. Sweet. You're on the big island. You got your first Kahala, man. That's uh, also known as the Greater Amberjack in other places. Nice Good fish, man. Cool. Got it back. Good to see another day. Ah, check this out. We were coming home and we saw this coconut floating. And I said, you know what? Let's scoop that up and shake it and see if it's any good. It's good. Sweet. Caught fish and a coconut. Yeah, yeah it is. We always get back when it's dark, so. These fish are, 
They're going to need to be illuminated with the dive light. Oh, these are smaller fish, so I can just go like this and there. See, there's like really no waste. Cut down to the skin and then just run and hover just above it. Just like this. Just like that. See, there's like no waste. And they hardly have a bloodline, so you can get real close to that skin and you're not going to leave a whole bunch. So the last thing we want is to have a bunch of little bones in our tacos. So I'm just going to follow those bones. That's about where they end right there. And then they curve off that way. So then I'm going to, I've already come from the other side. I'm just going to kind of do like this. There you go. Skinless, boneless snapper filet. Ready to go. Here's our filets. We're going to season those bad boys up and then throw them on the grill. And then have some fish tacos. A little blackening seasoning. So you put olive oil on them or avocado oil? Yeah, whatever oil you prefer. Avocado oil. And then, and then just put a bunch of seasoning, huh? A bunch of seasoning on them and then just grill them up. Sounds good, man. Taco time from in the deep to in our tummy. In the on the plate. <laughs> oh yeah, look at that. Fish tacos. Mm -hmm. mm, very good. How is it, Christy? The sauce is the best part. You like the aioli mm -hmm. that Peter made, yes? I really like it. It's delicious. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's the sauce. And the lime. Leilani never eats tacos. I mean, never. <laughs> and I'm super stoked. I'm gonna take a big bite. That's good. Mmm, good job, Peter. Thanks. <laughs>